I am not a lifelong member of Wall Street. I grew up on a farm in southeast Missouri, attending a small Baptist church of which my grandparents were charter members. My Baptist affiliation continued through college and during my young adult years. In the early 70s, my family and I moved to Louisville, then subsequently to southern Indiana. During that time, we were, some member, we were members of some very caring and loving Baptist congregations in this area, making long, lifetime, dear friends from each of those churches. However, over time, with a change in leadership in the Baptist hierarchy and changing theological ideals in the Baptist denomination, it became apparent that we needed to make a change. In the early 1990s, we began our search for a church that matched our theology and one that was open and accepting of all people in the area of church leadership. When we visited Wall Street, we were warmly welcomed and eventually agreed that this church was one that we could call home. We joined the church in 1994 joining the Seeker Sunday School class shortly afterwards. Our 19-year-old daughter, Jill, was a freshman at Bellarmine University at the time. Jill had been born with a rare, historically terminal liver disease in 1975 and was on the list for a liver transplant. It was here on November 6, 1994, sitting right there on the fourth row that she received the call telling her that a do excuse me. That a donated liver was available for her. We left church that day driving to Jewish Hospital to begin our long wait for Jill's second chance of life. As a family, and dear friends gathered from north, south, east, and west to be with us, we settled in our designated waiting room. We hadn't been there long when Joe and Patty Easley <clears throat> arrived, bringing us a simple sheet of paper with names and times indicating when our Wall Street family would be praying for Jill and us, her family, every hour for the next 24 hours. There are people here today who have told me that they remember praying that night. I cannot begin to adequately express the love and support that that simple document made us feel. Jill has that tattered piece of paper in her first transplant scrapbook today. After napping on chairs and on the floor throughout the night, we were surprisingly greeted by members of our Sunday school class, bringing us McDonald's sausage biscuits and apple turnovers on Monday morning. Friends, that is what church is about, praying and caring for one another. We knew then that Wall Street was the place for us. Over the years since, I have appreciated the many, many ways that Wall Street has ministered to our communities here and afar. In addition to all the mission and outreach opportunities, one of the things that endeared me personally to Wall Street was the music. Music has always been important to me and long before my schedule allowed me to be part of the chancel choir, the chancel choir was part of my worship experience. Music feeds my soul, and I'm so thankful that Wall Street sees fit to hire talented and de dedicated musicians, as, such as Becky and Eric, to lead us in worship. Your financial gifts make that happen. Also, since its inception, I have been privileged to be part of Wall Street's youth music camp. It makes my heart happy to see young people from right here in our neighborhood and across our community 
enjoy the camp experience. Seeing kids hear about Jesus for the first time, seeing kids from different backgrounds singing, playing, and learning together makes all the work, time, and preparation worthwhile. Thank you again for making that happen through your financial gifts. Before I close, I want to mention an opportunity that I've taken advantage of over the past four and a half years. If you are over 72, and a few of us are, 72 and a half years of age, and you have an IRA, you're aware that you had to start making yearly required minimum distributions or yearly withdrawals. One thing you may not know is that you can withdraw that portion as a qualified charitable distribution, tax-free, designating it as a tithe and or a gift to Wall Street. If you have questions, you can feel free to ask me or, of course, your financial advisor. In closing, I'm reminded daily that my life and my resources are a gift, a gift from God, a gift that I have the privilege to share. I'm thankful that Wall Street United Methodist Church uses my gifts wisely to minister to our community and communities all around the world. Thank you, Wall Street, for being God's hands, feet, and voice for 217 years.